Now we have our third speaker, Olumai. And back to back weeks, Olumai is speaking. Great job, Olumai. Olumai's speech title is My Love and Hate Relationship with Video Calls. Oh, yeah. Public speaking comes second to him after knowing how to breathe. He has a struggle with effective follow up, explains why he chose the effective communication pathway. But guess who has begun engaging his Uber drivers when he isn't too knackered and wants to take a private nap? Truly yours. Let's welcome Olumide. Take it over, Olumide. All right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, fellow Christmases. Um, my name is Olumide, and I'll be speaking about my love and hate relationship with video calls. Um, if you'll give me a moment, please. Um, can we hear that sound? Okay, great. So, oftentimes, I guess a lot of us have different notifications when we have calls on our phones. And um, in recent times, well, the time that we live in currently is more about virtual meetings and all of that. And not, I've had several virtual meetings. I, did, I have like four or five different meetings over Zoom or just personal WhatsApp or FaceTime video calls with my family who are not currently in the space. And um, I've come to realize that, in as much as I love to connect, I've realized that. When I see the notification, at times I'm hesitant at to pick, at to wanting to pick the call because um, number one, I might be outdoors, I don't have my airports, or I'm not just in a very good place to want to have a video call because I feel video call is quite taxing for me personally. I don't know for every other person, but for me, it's quite taxing in the sense that I have to have a face, <laughs> the welcoming face, because that's how it's supposed to be. If somebody wants to have a meeting, we can't just you know how it is with a regular voice call, you can just say, hello, how are you doing? Have a conversation for like five minutes and you know about your business. But if you on a video call, the owner is on you to have that very straight face, not really straight face, but very well made face. So it could be a tax for me and truth be told, I am very, very jovial and cordial, but it is that I'm not just cutting for it, and I, I, I do not, I do not want to be judged. Well, you're free to judge me if you want to, but it's just it. Um, over the over the past few months, I've learned one or two things that we get having to do with video calls, and if you don't mind, I'd like to share one or two of them that's most for me with you. Because I'll start by saying, okay, before I go into the three points, I'll start by saying it's not as annoying as me getting a call when I'm trying to relax. And what I do when I what I immediately do when I want to relax is. I most likely will not be wearing a shirt. So imagine my colleague calling me without a shirt on. I literally, it, it gets me off guard. I have to drop the phone, get a shirt on, and I, you know, wear my glasses, wear my AirPods, you know, all of that. And I just feel more like um, people should learn certain etiquette. It might not even be a walk on, it could just be a friend who's wanted to check on you. Like, I've not seen your face in a while. You know, it's COVID, you've had so much weight and all of that. You know how we do it ourselves. You know, so the first I would uh, say is um, ask yourself. The message I'm trying to pass across, can I do that via text or voice call? Because the truth is, um, a lot of times I've gotten I've gotten video calls that we get, oh, let me see your new glasses. And now I'm like, keep it up, just told me to send you a picture. You didn't have to call me, <laughs> you know? And um, not basically because I don't like this person or something, but just a function of stress for me. You don't, I have to smile, I have to. No, I don't want to do that right now. So a lot of times, just just before you place it, before you tap the video call button, just say, okay, so what I'm about to do, I, am I sure that the video call is just the best way to get it, to get it across to this person? You get. Okay, the other word is to confirm. So a lot of times I get messages like, hey, what's up? I, I'd like to have a video call with you by 6 p.m. And uh, for me, it's quite a challenge because I have quite a number of people back in Nigeria, so they're six hours ahead of me. So when it's 6 p.m. the time, it's 12 noon my time, and I'm most likely not on lunch break or something, so I'm pretty busy, or they don't come, they just call me at a very abrupt time because of, um, you know, the time difference. So I'll always prefer that you send me a message, hey, are you awake or something, before you just 
I brought blessing my phone just pop up with a video call from my relative. A lot of times I'm like, you know what? I just do the custom message. I'll call you back later. You get so a lot of times I do it. I do a confirmation, even for me personally. If I told somebody I'm gonna call you for a video call by six PM, by five fifty five I send a message, hey, are you still game for the video call? Because I just feel it simple as you get. I might have forgotten, I might be out, maybe I have to you know, rush out to do something. So I just wanna confirm if you're still on for it. So I have this very list guide I call the check me. So this is it for me. Um, if you call me more than twice, you're going to irritate me because I go by the rule. You call me twice, I don't pick you, send me a message that I work, just regular social etiquette. But if you call me on video calls, I tell myself, I call you once on video call, you don't pick, I send you a message, hey, are you still available for this? If you don't respond, I'm going to give you a call back to you, you reply that message. It's just me extending my social grace to you, like, okay, I understand that. You want to communicate with me, but I also need to understand that. I also need to put into factor that, hey, also this is life, other things will come up, you know. Another thing is, um, yeah, another, sorry about that. another thing I would say is we need to get, you need to get accustomed to, uh, what's it called, the regular, what's the word to use here? Okay, so we get on a video call a lot of times and we're abruptly met with a kind of look on the receiver's face because number one, you're trying to ensure that the background is palatable and all of that. You get so all of those times I think there's a I I oftentimes give the I oftentimes give like 30, 30 to sixty seconds of just silence so that the other party can get themselves together and you know then we can start a conversation. You get so in all of this, I know that we all like to connect with each other, and um, there's nothing as there's nothing as real as uh, there's nothing as real as real time com um, communication. That way, it's not just phone, it's not just voice call, but video calls. So I can see expressions in your face, and you know I can literally tell what exactly is going on with you. But I also would implore that in this season we should be um, more thoughtful about how we go about, you know. I would go about doing our video calls and all of that. Thank you so much for your time.